Bonderborn incident signals something big, says Home Minister. Abducted bank manager doing well. Do not worry about vote render service, says Prime Minister. Foreign Minister condemned killing of British citizens in Gaza. Those were the headlines. This is 18 News. Good evening, viewers. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin today. Bandarban incidents are not something small, rather, they are the indication of something big to happen. Home Minister Asad Zaman Khan Kamal made the remarks while talking to the journalists at the Secretariat on Thursday. He said, Government has remained alert. Best possible effort is being made to bring back the abducted bank manager, he added. The Home Minister also said the government will look into the matter whether there is any link between the recent incidents of blaze in buses and industries. Although three days have passed, there is no trace of Sonali bank manager Nizamuddin, abducted from Rumah of Bandarban. However, DC of Bandarban Shah Mujahid Uddin has confirmed the media that Muhammad Nizamuddin is doing well. Meanwhile, all works of Krishi and Sonali Bank in Ruma, Royan Ganchari and Thananchi Upazilas of Bandarban have been kept closed in apprehension of terror attacks. The clients are now in trouble due to closure of these banks before Eid. People concerned said Clients of these banks in three Ubazelas will be able to do transaction in Bandarban district, Shadar Sonali Bank. Securities have been beefed up in all banks and ATM boots in the district Shadar. However, banking works in Lama, Ali Kadam and Naikhong Chari are going on as usual. Army is patrolling in Rong Shari and Thanshi along with police and BGB. Meanwhile, Managing Director of Sonali Bank, Abzalur Karim, also said, abducted from Bondarbon Bank manager Nizamuddin is doing well. He made the disclosure to the media on Thursday. He said they are making maximum effort to rescue him. The MD of Sonali Bank said he had Zoom meeting with high officials of the bank on Thursday and instructed them to ensure maximum security in all branches of the bank during Eid holiday. The MD also told them to keep the anti-theft alarm activated during Eid holiday. There will be no concern for vote if you render service to people. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina made the remark at the swearing-in ceremony of people's representative of the local government at her office on Thursday. Addressing the event, the Prime Minister said value of vote is lot, keeping in mind one will have to be always with the people. The event was organized to administer oath to the newly elected mayors and councillors of Kumila and Maimon Singh City Corporations and District Council Chairman of Kurigram, Thakurgal, Shiraj Ganj, Brahmanbaria and Habi Ganj. What is happening in Gaza? is crimes against humanity. Israel's brutality and genocide is not getting stopped. They are not even sparing aid workers. Foreign Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud made the remark in his reaction to the killing of three British citizens in Gaza. Talking to the journalists at the National Press Club on Thursday, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said, Bangladesh expect that Western world will wake up now and do something about Israeli genocide in Gaza after killing of three British nationals on Wednesday. Not only Poles resistance movement, but BNP has also failed in their Indian products boycott call. Awamali General Secretary Obaidul Kader made the remark at a views exchange with leaders of the party 
from Khulna Division and lawmakers on Thursday. The Awami League leader said as long as Tariq Rahman will be in charge of BNP, they will be stuck up in quicksand. He said people will not respond if any movement is called sitting in London. If Tariq Rahman has the courage, let him do the politics coming to Bangladesh. The views exchange was called to discuss preparations for Mujib Nagar Day and upcoming Upazila polls. We now follow up with a short break and we will be back soon with. Israel bombardment in Gaza kills eight, including three children. Australia whitewashed Bangladesh in women's T20. Welcome back. You're watching 18 News. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin. We just have a breaking. The abducted manager of Sonali Bank's rumor branch, Nizamuddin, has been rescued. Safety in the hilly regions will have to be ensured to flourish tourism sector. Chairman of 18 News and 18 Bangla, Dr. Mahfuzur Rahman, made the remark at a contract signing event with tourism magazine Bromon. On Thursday, Dr. Mahfuzur Rahman said, through the signing of the contract, 18 Bangla will be the partner of Brahman on their work in tourism sector. Senior officials from both the firms were present at the event. We now begin with news from around the world. Overnight, Israeli bombardment has pounded houses in southern Gaza's Rafah city and killed at least eight people, including three children. Meanwhile, WCK founder has demanded nations involved launch an independent investigation into the seven aid workers' killings. After Wednesday strikes on Rafah, there has also been overnight air and artillery bombardment in central Gaza's Deir al-Balah which killed and injured dozens of civilians, including four killed in their homes in Deir al-Balah and several casualties reported on other eastern parts of Nusayrat, Burej, Maragazi camps. WCK's released a statement said independent investigation is the only way to determine truth of what actually happened, ensure accountability of those responsible and prevent future attacks on humanitarian aid workers. Two separate terrorist attacks on Iranian Revolutionary Guards headquarters in Iranian southeastern province of Sistan, Baluchistan have killed at least five Iranian security forces and 15 militants. Extremist Sunni Muslim militant group Jaish al Adil is suspected for the attack. Iranian media reported at least 15 militants were killed in overnight clashes between the militants from Jaish al Adil group and security forces in Iranian towns of Chabahar and Rask in the impoverished province. Ten other security officers were injured in the clashes in the predominantly Sunni Muslim population area. Deputy Interior Minister Majid Mirhamadi said terrorists failed to succeed achieving the goal of seizing the guards' headquarters in Chabahar and Rask. However, Jaish al Adil, that seeks greater rights and better living conditions for ethnic minority Baluchis, has claimed responsibility for several attacks in recent years on Iranian security forces. We now begin with Spots News. After the ODR series, Bangladesh women's team was whitewashed by Australia in the T20 as well. In the third and last T20 of the series, 
Tigress lost by 77 runs against OC Girls. In Mirpur, the opening pair led the Big Scores Foundation to the toss winner Australia. Captain Aliasa scored 45 runs. Nahida Rabia's spin attack in the middle overs quickly took four wickets and sealed the match for Bangladesh. However, Magra and Harris made a partnership of 57 runs for the sixth wicket. Therefore, the visitors got a big score of 155 for six wickets. In pursuit of runs, Bangladesh batting was a disaster on this day as well. Skipper Jyoti scored the maximum 32 runs. With 11 balls to spare, Bangladesh was bowled out for just 78 runs. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. Bandarban incident signals something big, says Home Minister. Abducted manager of Sonali Bank's rumour branch, Nizamuddin, rescued. Do not worry about those render service, says Prime Minister. Foreign Minister condemned killings of British citizens in Gaza. Israel bombardment in Gaza kills eight, including three children. And Australia whitewash Bangladesh in women's T20. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us. Until then, see you soon.